So today we're on our Fire TV and we're going to talk about Fire Stick audio issues, Fire TV Cube audio issues. There's audio issues on quite a few of the devices currently that people are reporting. Um, I've had a bit of issues on my Fire TV Cube, um, but I haven't had it on my Fire Stick. So we're going to go through all the different things you can try to fix your audio settings. And if you have any issues, whether it's um, lips out of sync or even no sound at all, we're going to try and fix those for you today on this video. Okay, so if you are brand new here, do remember to subscribe. We've got tons of videos for you, for your streaming, whether it's tips and tricks like today's video, or whether it's installing the likes of Kodi. Um, we've got some other applications here, which are for more of the um, adult variety. We've got movies and TV shows, and we've got tons of news and tips and tricks. So everything you need is linked underneath. So make sure you subscribe and check out the channel. And if you're a regular watcher, do remember to watch through till the end for me. So what we're going to do, first thing you're going to do, if you want to try and fix your audio, I would recommend before we go into the audio settings, get across to settings, go to my Fire TV, click on about and check your device is fully updated. OK, check it's updated. There we go. I've got a brand new one. Um, and that's from this morning when I already updated it. So I'm going to quickly install that. The key to make sure it's updated is because they push fixes quite regularly. So they will push fixes, whether it's for an audio issue or anything like that, they will be the ones who can fix a lot of the stuff. Okay, so now let's get into the audio settings. What you want to do is go to settings, go to display and audio, and then click on audio. Okay, there's a few things in here we can do. First one, me personally, just for a general annoyance, turn off navigation sounds. They're so annoying, those clicks. Secondly, we can look at your surround sound settings. Um, for me, actually on my device, I can run it on PCM because that is what I need on my device. OK, PCM, I don't have Dolby, Dolby Digital Plus or Dolby Digital coming into this device, but some of my others I do. But a lot of people might have Dolby Digital Plus turned on or Dolby Digital turned on, but your device doesn't support it. And if that is the case, you will not hear any sound as stated above. So if you're receiving no sound at all, it will be because your audio and your device isn't ready for your Dolby Digital. So the best thing is to set it to best available or set it to PCM. I leave mine on best available and that way you will always have some sound. So change yours to best available, not one of the specifics. Then it will change to what the output is and it will also change to what your actual device can do. Brilliant. We go back. We're going to go into advanced audio. OK, this is quite important. Volume leveler is OK. I find it fine. Sets a consistent volume across your streaming content and apps. Brilliant. The new one they added, which was dialogue enhancer, seems to be one of the things which puts you out of sync. It's when it's boosting and enhancing your dialogue and it's running extra boosting in the background. If you have this, personally, I recommend turning this one off. OK, that helped me a lot when I turned this one off for putting audio back into sync. OK, I turned that one off and you can, if you want to, um, AV sync tuning you can play with. Obviously, you hear the sound. Let me just turn my audio on for my fire stick. You'll hear the sound as it bounces and you can try to adjust it there. But normally you can see if it's in or out. OK, mine is in. But you can play with that one. But the key one is this advanced audio and dialogue enhancer. OK, that is quite important. You can also, if you wanted to, it depends what device you're on. In your display settings, there is on the Fire TV Cube a device upscaling. And when that's upscaling the image, it can out sync the audio. So I turn off the upscaling has helped as well. But that again is your choice. Things like that is where it can mess things up when you've got upscaling on each device and your audio isn't being upscaled. So that's one to check out for. Those ones would hopefully help you out. You can look at your audio and video diagnostics. Like I spoke earlier about mine, this setup, this one I record on, can only handle PCM audio. It can't do Dolby Digital. It can't do Dolby Digital Plus. Can't be Dolby Atmos or Dolby Matte. So there's no real point of me having it turned on. And that is the case. If it was turned on, I would experience no sound. So it's worth me having it turned off completely. OK, another thing we can do 
if you are struggling with certain apps this is more for the sort of third party apps you can't really do this to fix netflix or anything like that but if you go to settings search vlc vlc media player is one of the best open source video and music players which have a lot of encoders and things like that so you can get this installed and then you can use this as your player within your third party streaming apps if you want to again it's another thing to try we're just trying to give you the most options of different things you can do which may help you fix it in the end so vlc is here let that quickly install okay and vlc you can open it up but there's not a lot you can do with it you need to allow the permissions you can start vlc and then in here you can use it within your apps it is normally set up pretty well ready to go um, there's a few settings you can change if you really want to but it normally has the codecs in there to help you again it's one of those things if you want to try it you know you don't watch the stuff directly and it's hard for me to tell you without having a third party app open which i can't do on youtube so that one is one for you to try and then in your third party app go into your settings and set the video player up as vlc that might be another good option for you those are the only real things you can do um, apart from if you're using an external maybe audio device like a soundbar you could adjust the settings in the soundbar but that can change between every app and can become a right pain in the butt hopefully for anybody who is having any issues those few tricks might help it hopefully if not um, you can reach out to amazon but if not we will hope and pray that amazon push out those fixes personally i've only really had the issue on the fire tv cube and it's because of a lot of the enhancing so we're working on it and hopefully we fixed it do remember if you can hit that subscribe button before we disappear um, there's tons of other fixes and videos you might find on here if you look on the home page itself you can scroll down you'll see different topics even some short videos and all our other channels as well so do check them out and we recommend loads of other channels you might like which are helpful in the similar genre so do check those out and a quick word from one of our partners if you are after a vpn nordvpn is linked underneath we are partnered with nordvpn um, they are very useful they're a great vpn to hide your um, ip address or change your ip address so you're not restricted by your provider they also offer tracker and ad blocker and malware protection which is very good when you're streaming online and very good when you're online in general they are a partner of ours we do get a small commission it does help support the channel so if you do need a vpn feel free to use one of our links Remember, you can subscribe to the channel for free. And I've been Doc Squibby. Hopefully, that was a good little walkthrough and some good tips on there for you. And I'll see you soon.